All right, I'm here. I think we are live. I had to go grab my cup of coffee before I started streaming. I, I like clicked live, went to go get my cup of coffee. I had to go grab my... All right, sweet, we're good. We're good. So we were going to do the Marauder thing. Before we do anything... Uh, what? Uh... What? Am I dropping frames? No, we're good. That was purely the server that just did that. I have no idea. Um... Yeah, I have no idea. Look at that. Look at that lag. Okay, I'm I'm lagging. I need the stream might pause for a second. I may have to restart my game. Yeah, I'm going to have to restart my game entirely. Uh, exit main menu. Yeah, that ping was absurd. Like, we teleported into the air. The interesting thing is, I'm not dropping frames at all. Like, I did not drop 0.0% frames dropped. So it definitely was not my internet connection. We'll see. But I have a sneaking suspicion that they broke something. All right, we're going to play this really quick. get the t t uh, territory standing buff oh man i've got a this needs to get reported Then I need to uh, mute the global. People writing like really inflammatory We can do this three times. Oh, nice. Someone tipped us. Uh, I'll change instruments after this one so we don't do it three times in a row with the same instrument.
Yeah, the global chat was getting like very uh toxic. And the funny thing is, like, people write that shit in global chat, and it's like, uh, by the way, you paid at least $15 for this game. If you get banned for writing stupid shit, uh, I will laugh at you. But, yeah, so... It's unfortunate, but like keeping global chat on is not something like you really want to do. So yeah, we're gonna, we got our territory standing for 30 minutes. We need to keep that going. And then we need to go and do the Marauder advancement quest. Uh, we need to go, yeah. Can we go through here? Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> So I'm thinking uh, later today, I'm going to begin a new run in Path of Exile for several reasons, but mostly, mostly because I just, I want to. And I've been thinking about other types of games to get into. I've been a little bit torn on what exactly I want to switch it up with. I like Legion TD, but I have a feeling that it's not something that I can play almost every day. Just because, I mean, and not to poop -poo on the game, but it's quite... Uh, the the gameplay loop is enjoyable but it doesn't feel like i'm progressing when i play the game there's like a lack of progression and the lack of progression is kind of what makes me feel like eh, i don't know if i can play this on a daily basis so what i'm probably gonna do is stop Stop playing Legion TD2 daily. Switch it up maybe once every couple of days. And then I'm going to focus on... I'm going to introduce uh, Path of Exile. Because I think a fresh start in Path of Exile would be fun. Not to mention Path of Exile 2 is... Close. Supposedly it's coming like within the next six months. 
So if I play through Path of Exile 1, that would be a nice intro into Path of Exile 2 whenever that may release. Also, the Exile Con is supposedly happening in about two weeks. So if I start playing it now, I should get to the end game in Path of Exile in about that amount of time. Is that giant, giant salmon always there? I feel like I'm noticing things in town that I just haven't seen before. I don't know. I feel like some things have changed in the towns and like... Things that I just haven't noticed before, I, I don't know. It is a massive salmon though. It's interesting that they like didn't make it a shark because there is a shark in the game. Funny that they chose the salmon. Oh, we could try hatch. There are a lot of people trying hatch. I, I'll type in um, X. X hatch tank. See if I get invite. I don't know why people type X. But I think that's what you type when you want an invite. All right, we're at eight. So we need to go. We already did Windsward. We need to go Brightwood and Everfall. And then I think we're. No, no, no. We need to go Weaver's Fen. We already did Brightwood. But yeah, we're going to do the Marauder advancement first. Uh, what? Why do I keep doing that? I keep clicking on the wrong fast travel point. I guess I'm just not focusing on what I'm clicking on. That was really weird when we got into game initially. Skipping around like that. The way the game handles ping is not ideal. It's unfortunate, and it's partially the reason why PvP isn't taken more seriously in the game, because it, if you try PvP and you run into, like, netcode issues, like, it's enough for people to never want to try it again. Now we just need Everfall and we'll have our tent. As for the medley fair, I've recognized like we've we accumulated so many premium tokens on the first like within the first two days that we don't really need to fish much more.
Oh my. The amount of coin we just got from that is insane. If we get about a hundred coin from each bundle, and there are 10 bundles that we can get, 10 settlements, that's a th at least a thousand coin just from doing what we just did. We didn't get any Welcome premium one. tokens Welcome though. Welcome all to the summer medley fair. Oh god, his voice is this so much louder. This is a complete triumph, thanks to you. His voice is so much louder than other voice lines, like in the quest line. Yeah, so I think the last thing we're trying to do... Yeah, I I think in retrospect, this timer means that there's a cooldown on how often you can buy it. Right? I, I think that's what it means. But I don't know... It definitely doesn't mean that it's going to disappear at the end of the event. Because if it's going to disappear at the end of the event at the end of the event, it would say it would disappear. Right? So we want the swordfish skin and we want the camp skin. And then as a stretch goal, we want these three things, right? The rate that we're getting premium medley fair tokens i believe we'll be able to get all of these things i don't know if i really care about the the sword skin because like the sword we have has an awesome skin. Like this this sword is awesome. Then we also already we have one from the season 2 pass. We have <clears throat> we have a couple from Prime Gaming and Twitch. Like I don't think we need another sword skin. Right? I actually really like this Xander's Tenderizer skin on the hammer. Like, it's just, it's a cool base skin for the hammer. Yeah, and I think this is something we unlock on the season pass. There's a, there's a hammer skin on the season pass, I think. Yeah, I don't know if I care about getting the skin for that. I will use the Starfish Defender because I like the I like the field skin because it's the most obvious when I'm running around. You see it on my back constantly, you know? Welcome one, welcome all to the summer medley fair. This year is a complete triumph, thanks to you. I'm thinking we go for like the hat. I, I don't really care for the, the swordfish skin. We already have one of these. I would like these three things. So we need 30, 40, 50. We can get, um, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to get that. Look, it's fine. That's something we'll do in the background.
At this point, I'd say we've gotten what we really wanted to get, though. We got all of the emotes. Um, I like the camp skin, but I think at this point, we've gotten everything we really wanted. Every all the tokens we earn, we earn three a day at least from playing music. So greetings, gladiator. Be wary of what you wish for, young warrior. I'm just going to take these because if we're going to be here doing stuff. Uh, what does it say? Travel to Weaver's Fen and complete the trial of the rabbit. Okay. Um. What's the trial of the Ravager? I, I just talked to them. What? Do I need to... Wait, hold on. Was there something else that I needed to... Huh. I don't understand. Yeah, it says it's right there. Wait, hold on. It said something? Oh, it got bugged out. See how we have this and this? Cut down Fenton lost. I think it bugged out. Yeah. The quest bugged out. Fucking hell, man. Alright, reset. And then... Pop. Greetings, gladiator. Be wary of what you wish for, young warrior. Okay. There we go. See, now we can see where we need to go. That's... That was smart of them to implement, like, reset and abandon, because... A bug like that, without the ability to reset, would leave me in a very stuck situation. I like that hood a lot. That's probably one of my favorite cosmetics in the game. The pattern on that hood is its just so good. I don't like the mask, though. Uh, I'm going to be on the phone for a second. Be right back.
All right. I'm like doing three things at once right now. I'm like thinking of, I hate when my brain does that to me where I'm like, you're trying to think of multiple things at the same time. So you end up thinking of nothing. I'm just gonna type X hatch DPS. We got 10 lemons. Oh, I'm DPS. I, I'm PVP. I didn't even realize I had PVP active. Oh. Might be faster to go to the medley fair. Yeah, it's gonna be faster to go up here. Seems like there are a lot of people doing hatchery now. Yesterday there was like no one doing it. Yeah, I didn't even realize I had PvP active. But it took me too long. It was like a random voice line. What? Weaver's fan is weird. Oh, we need to defeat even more lost. Oh shit. I'm kind of like a tank, I guess. So I'll just I'll put myself as tank. Yeah, that's why I took those regular faction quests, because it's sending us to Perryville regardless. Uh... 
actually not that bad, but the level 32 requirement makes it bad. If it were like level 20 requirement, that would be insane. Low level gear is kind of weird in this game. We need to search chests. I remember coming through here. Yeah, the main quest, like, kind of, it's kind of like a cop out. Like, you meet this character, Morgan, the witch crone, and it's really a cool part of the story. I like the lore of Weaver's Fan, but it kind of just like ends and like kind of goes unresolved. It's kind of just unresolved. It's like, oh, what happened to Morgan? Like there's no in a story you have in a story arc, you always have a resolution, right? Like there's always some thing that happens that puts a conclusion to the event, right? Like you introduce a character, there's the rising tension, there's the climax, and then there's the taper off, and then there's the resolution, right? And there's just absolutely no resolution with that character. It's just like they were introduced cool cool concepts for a character kind of gimmicky a little bit gimmicky and then like we do a couple quests for them and then like it it just it kind of ends and then like nothing comes of it all right we're doing the worm thing i'll be right back once All right, I'm back. Yeah, they were they were waiting on me a little bit. My bad, I'm here. I think we provide a buff to all of our guys when we do that. Damn, 
we are slamming these guys. these guys Stop. is way higher than mine, I think. I have no idea what to expect from this.
healing is insane right now. Should probably just use hammer. I think it'll be higher DPS. I probably should have used the uh the shield. Get hit by the fire. People are just face tanking the fire. I tried to run and I just I, I couldn't make it Is it almost dead kinda What happens if we all die I assume it respawns right Oh they can like still heal them from the that's funny. Actually, I, I don't know if they can actually reach that distance. They should be able to kill him. Like, that's 99%, right? GG. What's, the, what's that guy underneath? Very nice. Very, very nice. Destroy the egg. Nice. GG. This is how you get the like really good end game gear. Like these are unique to doing the hatchery. This one's not that good. Yeah. 
Eh, not that good. These are all bind on pickup as well. Oh, this actually isn't bad. This may be better than what we're currently using. Um, yeah, as far as tanking, like, we were not, we were not tanking. And if we want to actually tank, then, hold on, I need to get this last chest. Okay. Yeah, as for actually tanking, we need to... Respec. Yeah, I'm just going for that. All right, let's go. They're waiting on me. Shit, shit, shit. I'm going, I'm coming. I'm going. I had to respec because I, I didn't even have enough threat to to do the thing. Yeah, this group seems like it's good. Um, I just didn't understand, like... How the flame stuff works. Understand how the walls of flame did damage, but you need to like move side to side to to block it. Wait, where are they going? Huh. Take a moment to collect myself. How about take a moment to do the oh shit. Take a moment to do the worm dance on the ground.
See what animation they're doing. Oh, that's a big, that's a big one. That, that's a big one. the fire stage I think this is the fire stage Heal that damage, but that fire damage is intense. Oh, there's the
There's the thing. Instantly. I don't I don't know exactly what happened. That last stage is insanely difficult. They should be able to take it down. I think only what three of us went down out of ten. Yeah, I keep dying right at the end. Like, there's some crazy combo that they do. GG. Huh. Yeah, that combo they do is just so strong. It knocks down my stamina and then just hits me extremely hard. I don't know exactly what to do differently. Probably dodge, but it's so difficult to time it. I don't know. Luckily, we're getting carried, though. <laughs> Come back up. Um. Yeah, I think we already. No, we need to go down here. Harburg? No. What? And now we need to go down here. Yeah, well, we may as well go through this way. Yeah, this isn't really tank gear. Um, <laughs> but like, I'm, I, I'm kind of not really tanking because the way this ability works yeah shield bash Yeah, while blocking, reduce damage to all allies within four meters by 30%. That's that's a very good... Uh, AoE... Mahabanti. Damage mitigation tank ability. Yeah, 30% is no joke. Oh, I remember messing with that thing. But yeah, Weaver's Fen is a really cool area to clear out. But as for the story, it feels very unresolved. But then again, I mean, it's an MMO. Like, 
you can't have a resolution because it would change the nature of it. And like, if it's an open world, everyone can't, someone who's completed the quest line can't have a different world state than, than someone else, right? probably try and do one more like if we have a good group going may as well continue continue trying it we only need two more people Where do I need to go? What, what quest is right here? Oh, they're up on top of that. Oh, okay. I'll go do it while I'm here. Like, if I'm right in the area, I may as well do it. Void metal, nice. I like that we can kind of be anywhere on the map while only one person needs to be by the entrance of the raid. So I can be doing my Marauder stuff whilst queuing for hatchery. Let's open one of these hatchery spoils. Oh. Oh, nice. This upped our expertise, that plus 10. Nice, you get Umbral Shard, Smoldering Sand, Mountain Glyphstone. What is this? Writ of Adventure? This got our shield expertise up. Oh, Accelerated Resolve is very good. Yeah, that's kind of the end game progression. Yeah, hatchery seems like a, a fun, repeatable raid. Yeah, these are all bind on pickup, meaning you can't put them on the market. actually better than what we're using we 
Yeah, I may I may use this instead. What? Oh, interesting. Yeah, some of these things we're picking up are actually better than what we're currently using. Yeah, I don't know how to increase our threat more other than with Carnelians. We need two more. Yeah, this guy, this guy right here is using the same helmet we are, so... Uh, this gear is actually really good. Oh, he went down immediately. Not a good sign. That's that's really you're not a good sign. One of our guys already went down, actually. Um, and the amount of time it's taking to kill these guys is much longer. I don't know if we're going to make this one. I, I don't know if we're going to make this one. Some, some people left earlier, and I think they were like our highest damage dealers.
That was a little bit better. When he does that, it's probably a good idea to move away from everyone. healers our healers are really keeping the heals going yeah if they go down they can come in for this last thing but if you go down during this fight you can't get back Wait, what's the F? um how did i go down there I wasn't necessarily near the attack at all. I, I, I wasn't near the attack. Like, the, the animation of the spikes wasn't actually near me. So, I, I, I just, I don't know. Like, clearly I did something wrong. I, I don't know. Oh, and I just immediately died. I got up and immediately went down. Yeah.
I tried to make it to the healing, the sacred ground, but I went down basically immediately. And then they rezzed me. Right as I got rezzed, something landed right next to me and instantly took me down again before I was even able to heal. Yeah, so there's a way if you use the fire staff to go back in by like jumping off of that. I've seen two people do that now. <laughs> Which is kind of broken, but. Yeah, it seems like um, burn burn damage resist would be really good. Fire resist. Yeah, the sulfur core, I think they have to destroy within a certain amount of time. Yeah, that thing. That animation is much wider than it actually looks, like by a meter in game. What? Someone mining something? Yeah. They like jump off from there and then go back in. Yeah, and then this stage you have to run through the gaps and the flames. Otherwise, it does an absurd amount of damage. Or I think you're able to... No, you can't really roll through them. No, they just... Oh, they almost made it. They almost made it. I'm not idle. It's like saying I'm idle. Yeah, I want to see what this person does. They go up here. What? Where did they go? Where did they go? The fuck? That's the jump that ha you have to make. Oh, I see. Yeah, and then they get up there. And then they use the fire staff ability. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't have the fire staff, so even if I get up there. I, I assume the great axe ability can do it as well. Oh, it's very difficult. Yeah, you have to go that way, then up that way, then around. This is probably one of the hardest. Yeah. And then you jump here. Ah! 
It's so difficult. How far are they done? Uh, hey, it gives me something to do while I'm waiting. Rather than just sitting there watching them do it. I understand the boss's animations at this point. I assume that's not meant to be able to be done. I don't know if they left it in the game as like a hidden thing. I think jumping from here might be easier. No! Oh, we almost had it. This guy's a pro at it. Here, they can ju they just jumped up here. What? How did they jump up there? The farthest we got was from jumping from here. No! They they made it. How did they fucking make it? Okay, they're they're done. Ah, GG's. Wait, what? Did I get loot from that? It like didn't give me... Yeah, we got we got seriously hard carried that game. We absolutely should have lost. But we also didn't get any rewards. I need to check that again. It just like... Can you only do it twice a day? So we got two of those chests, right? Yeah, see, we didn't get another chest. We didn't get a chest from that. Yeah, I assume I can only do it, um... I assume I can only do it twice. But now we can progress the... season story quest. Yeah, that last one, we didn't actually get anything. I need to get my mining to 150, so I'm going to hit the star metal over here. Yeah, I have a better idea as to how the boss works. Definitely seems like fire resist would be very good. Any type of like elemental resistance. Oh, fishing hog spot. Should we hit it? I don't think I have any bait. 
No, I have no bait. I'm gonna hit it anyway. Which hotspot did I land on? The Eternum Sturgeon or the regular hotspot? This is why I should always keep bait on me. Honestly, fishing the Eternum Sturgeon hotspot with no bait. You'll still get, like, medium Eternum Surge now. It just makes the cast, the bite time a little bit longer. Watch me say that, and then I just get three medley fair caches in a row. Which hotspot did I land on? They're like overlapping. Uh, it was the Eternum Surgeon one. Yeah, look, we got three ca medley fair caches. <laughs> You can catch sturgeon with no bait, though. The electric eel we caught earlier, you can turn into bait to catch better fish, basically. Small mad tom. Mad tom toxins. Yeah, electric eel bait. Yeah, now we now we have bait. So now we can actually fish this spot. Electric eel bait is actually pretty valuable. Um I think they go for like 2 coin each for some reason. I think it's just because it's difficult to farm and it has high utility. At least if you're trying to do fishing. Oh wow, we just caught a freaking shark. Salvaged into delicate fish fillet. Yeah, the delicate fish fillet, I think, is the rarest tier four fish fillet. Oh. I'll, I'll leave it with that as far as my luck goes. Cool, so we can finish this line. And then we can work towards finishing. Nice, seven gypsum orbs, we'll take it work on finishing this line here. So now we just need to craft a gypsum orb and fish up a tre oh, treasure chest. That's like the most difficult thing on the season pass to get. Uh, I will be right back. I'm back.
been streaming for 90 minutes. Yeah, that hatchery raid is pretty fun. I can see why people grind it because some of the gear you get is insane. And each time... Each time you open one of those chests you get from doing it... You receive a chance to increase your expertise. So... It seems like another good way to increase basically the end game progression. Getting expertise maxed out. Which takes a long time. Decent. Need to kill four more guys here. Yeah, it's important to get the faction stuff done. Um, there's stuff you can get on the faction shop that you can't get anywhere else. And it also plays a role in progressing the end game. Like, you do faction missions, uh... You can progress the end game by doing that. Alright, we need to go back to Weaver's Sven, so... Fast travel location here. What is it- what is it called again? Twillin. Yeah, I liked I liked the story here. Like the corrupt deacon. Actually, no, that was Brightwood. Um, it was kind of a similar plot between Brightwood and Weaver's Fen, but I I like the I like the story here. I like the 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 corpse crone. I just again I think that a lot was left. Uh, unresolved and like don't get me wrong I mean I know it's an MMO I'm not expecting like triple A uh, plot story like best movie of the year level uh, plot and story but it feels like they have yet to... It feels like they could definitely do more work on fleshing out the story. The thing is, with an MMO, players only do it maybe... I've, I've gone through it twice. When the game first came out, the main story quest was completely different. Uh, not completely different. Very different. There were some things that I remembered, and then there were other things that were completely new. But the thing is, like, if players only go through it one time, do you really want to focus that much on it? It's better to focus on things that are repeatable and things that endgame players are going to be doing for hours upon hours. Right? And most, let's be honest, most people skip the dialogue in, in MMOs. Great, you're back. Let's take a look at these new samples you found. Oh, interesting. These are less weathered, but only just. Oh, fascinating. Yeah, see, this is like level 23. We, we just got this side quest out of the way while we were over there. I will there. not allow myself to grow too excited just yet. But if my observations are correct, this stone is many hundreds of thousands, perhaps even millions of years old. Oh, think of the implications. 
It does, doesn't it? So many questions, but we must resist the temptation to draw conclusions. Uh, stone dating is far from an established field of study, after all. Regardless, I am looking toward the future today. Yes, I do. While I respect Master Ting Long's work, I can see beyond it. There is one structure here that predates all the others, according to my mentor's study. Can you visit Andromedus and collect samples for me there? I guess. You're giving me kind of a shitty shield to do it. <laughs> I I guess I'll do it. Ah, the victor returns. All right, cool. She made it very well known there throughout we... the ranks that she did not think you worthy of further advancement. We got the Ravager, Hail, so fellow warrior. Now, uh, now our Hail, faction token cap is higher. Yeah, forty-five thousand. Um. And we unlocked all of this stuff. Which, I mean, it's level 35. Like, the thing is, if you're doing the main quest and you're side questing and you're crafting, like, you can completely ignore faction stuff. Um, as for leveling this up it's kind of like something you do after you've done a bunch of other stuff first so the gear that you get here is somewhat useless even the end game gear oh are these i think these are skins these are these are skins. These are new. Um yeah, these this is the gear you get. From the highest level oh and you can buy gypsum orbs with faction tokens that's very useful i don't know what these writ of adventure are but we got one Wait, are they not marketable? Yeah, they're not. Craft runes. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that what that is yet. Yeah, that's a bunch of stuff we don't need. This sword is significantly under leveled. Our gear score is over 600 now. That's good. Yeah, if I actually want to tank and tank properly, then I...
I need carnelian gear. Right? Carnelian. Yeah. Uh, we put this thing. in our sword. Yeah. We lost that diamond, but the diamond was like, what, 50 coin or something? What's the thing that gives elemental damage absorption? Uh, I think it's... Onyx is physical. Opal is elemental. Yeah. I'm going to put an opal in this thing. I'm going to buy two more of those, those opals. Uh, cut brilliant opal. Yeah. Just to have that extra. What? 6% elemental resist. Yeah. And honestly, this gear is not what we really want to use. How is this not as good? Yeah, all of this is bind on pickup. So the reality is if it's not as good as what we're using, I don't want to hold on to it. Yeah, th this stuff is just not as good as what we're using. I like this thing, though. That one I'll hold on to. And then this will we'll hold on to. These boots, we're definitely holding on to.
this is still pretty good. The one I'm looking at is still pretty good. Oh, it's hard. Like, when... You know... Vigor is really good again for burn damage, right? And here's the thing we're already classed as heavy armor. So <clears throat> these are actually not bad. Vigor is really good. That extra elemental armor, even though it's got one less con, I think this is actually decent. Like, I may equip these... Because what we need is elemental resist. The thing that keeps killing us is the fire damage. Right? Cool. So we got another line on there. Uh, we need to fish up a treasure chest, which is probably not going to happen. Uh... Yeah, I think the rest of this is going to be exceptionally difficult. The only way we can finish this line is with this, so I'm finishing this card. Yeah. We got Seasoned Adventure. Adventurer. That's going to bump us up. That gave us, that gave us two season pass levels. We got a musket skin and more currency. 100 dune walkers. Weapon gift and weapon chest. Let's just let's just claim these and open them just to get them out of the way. Cool musket skin. We should use the musket. Um, yeah, let's let's just open these. Food gift. That is a lot of food items. Um Yeah, thwarting strikes is not very good. And then these two are... Yeah. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, that's a that's a very good flat bow. Oh, this hatchet's very good. 10% crit chance and then inflicts bleed on crit hit. So 18% crit chance. Yeah, that life sass meh. This hatch is actually not bad. Scorpion. That's int. Con, con focus, dexterity. But this hatchet I'm locking because this is actually a really good hatchet. 
We just need to get our expertise increased. Yeah, these are not viable. Anything below like 550 gear score at this point is not viable. Unfortunately. Um, We got to go and do a corruption portal. Which way is it? This way? I see iron node. Oh, somebody's doing the... They're not going to be able to complete the portal before I get there. It takes too long. Oh, weird. That was like a delayed... Yeah, they're not going to be able to complete this before I get there. You gotta be careful about pushing them outside of the circle because they will actually... Um... They will start re recharging health. There are more? Squashing them like bugs. soul of this. It's cool that someone lower level is doing it right now. What is there someone something else alive? Yeah on this side. Good. There's got to be another enemy somewhere. Oh, 
car right here. Nice. Our, um, corruption resistance was at like one. Yeah, none of these are actually viable, unfortunately. This one actually kind of requirement level 15 for a 350 gear score is actually not bad all right we we went and did that then Oh, interesting. We haven't gotten all of our Sportsman Spoils bundles yet. In which case, we just need to kill... ...animals and skin them. I don't think every single one drops one. Yeah, there's a quest giver here that disappears after you do the the quest. This is like one of the first corruption spawns that people come across in the game. Level 9 Corrupted Entities. I think we can chop this yet, still. Level 100. Yeah, we're almost there. We're 94. Alright, let's go to Everfall. What do we have to do here? Oh, we have a faction quest. Wait, can I turn it in down here? No, it has to be Everfall. Or Everfall. I salute you, fellow Marauder. We will never give up the yeah, those make you do Starstone. We, we haven't actually done Starstone Barrows. And there are mutated versions. Yeah, 625 is the highest gear score. Um... Let me go and put this stuff away quickly. Yeah, Brightwood, we put all the weapons.
Can I just shift click? Yeah. All the rewards. Um. Windsward, we put all of this. Where do I put all the craft mods? I think I put those in Windsward as well, yeah. And the resources, too. Yup. What about tuning orbs? Uh... What? I don't know where I put all my tuning orb stuff. I know I have more. Here. It's in Everfall. I'll put it in... Uh, Brightwood as well. Alright, uh, let's go back over here. What is that? Oh, that's the hatchery. Seasonal trial. Yeah, there's still more stuff to do. This giant statue in the air. Sticking out into the sky. I think we should focus on, yeah, earn faction reputation to face trial. We don't need that pinned. Like, we know, yeah, we know that that is the case. And then swoggle smear. That's a faction mission, which I'm going to abandon for right now. And then deep time is here. We're not going to go do that. Unless we reach a point where we're like, you know what? I've done everything else in the game. I'm going to go back and do all those weird low level side quests. Like then maybe I'll go back to Weaver's Fen and do all the side quests there. But the side quests in Weaver's Fen are mostly strange because it's like, well... I'm level 60 now, I've done the main quest, I've done everything else, and Weaver's Fen is like level 30 to 40. So I'm not gonna go back and do that stuff until unless I like wanna do full completion, which I may very well wanna do, but I also wanna experience like the end game stuff before I go back and do 
like 100% completion type things. look about you speak to me destroy the eggs i know i could feel it i wish there had been a way to save them but it was this or risk an army of violent devourers under malik's control so tell me friend what happened down there is it done the complex beneath us is huge, or it used to be. Our speakers used to commune with the devourers here before presenting them the eggs. It's the role I was being prepared for. Look under the ruins of Sotet. I believe there is a way to the sanctum through there. May you walk the path to heaven, my friend. Oh, this thing is sick. And we just got this. Which... Is good and completes the set. So now we have the full set of... Devourer's Medium Gear. Devourer's Ward. Very cool. This heavy chestware is still very good, though. But if we equip this, it just puts us 22.9 equip load. So now we can hop around a little bit. Which is actually very powerful. We can do three hops before we run out of stamina. It's also got a really cool cape. Very nice. I'm happy we're using this starfish sword. I like the idea of like using seasonal cosmetics. It's like using the same stuff over and over again gets kind of boring. We need to upgrade this. So much health. Legacy of the Sands. Confront Malik and put an end to his plan. Alright, can we camp? Can we camp? Yeah, but I'm not I'm not in the landmark. Sweet. What is that? Is that a chest that I missed? That is a chest that I missed. Elite ancient chest right here? Bro! 
Did we get an awesome hatchet? Nah. It upped our gear score. Upped our uh, expertise, though. Yeah, these are not bad, but they're not worth holding on to. Yeah, we just got like... Uh, I, f I think I have to go for this and that. Do this track here. Kill enemies with magic. Very easy. Goonwalkers. Yeah, we can definitely complete at least one line on there. Yeah. All right, we got to we got to do this challenge and it's not going to be easy. I'm just going to take my time and uh, yeah. I have no idea what this guy does. N none at all. So. Got to use our potions if we have to. Got to take our time. You think you've won? I will put an end to you and that heretic Sharif. <laughs> Okay, he can't he can't be staggered and he does that that's crazy Yeah, he can't be staggered. Yeah, he's just gonna take some time. Oh, I can hit him. He does that. This guy, I think he like has a. Okay. Yeah, I, I see how to detect him. You can hit him in the back. So he does it three times and then he does that. down three bars now. Oh, this one, okay. Yeah, he makes a... Okay. Yeah, I've got it. I, I kind of got it down. Nice. I like I like this. It's a little bit. He's got a lot of health though. I'm trying to get more hits off on him each time. 
it doesn't do that much damage. Like, I feel like I can almost face tank him. Oh, second tier, second, second tier. Uh, holy shit. I, I, I spoke too soon. I'm like, he doesn't do much damage. It's like, uh, yeah, he has a second, he has a second phase. Where he, he swings faster, attacks more often. Less predictable. Unblockable? Why couldn't I block that? You cannot escape from me. The very my ally. Ooh, that hurts a lot. Oh, we got him. I hope, I hope we got him. We had a destiny. The devourers should be ours to control. I will destroy all who against me. Uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he got eat by, eaten by the fucking worm. Cool cutscene. GG. Yeah, he wasn't that difficult. It was just a matter of, um... Time it. Soul trial chest. Oh. We got three blunder buses. One increased our expertise. Yeah. Yeah, that loot wasn't that wasn't that great. But it's fine. I'm glad we just got it done first try. It wouldn't have been so bad to redo it. Uh, I was like being very careful in the beginning. And then I realized like, oh, he doesn't do much damage. And right as I realized he wasn't doing much damage, he started his second phase where he started doing more damage. Is it done? I thought I saw Shah Nishen. I can't imagine the horror. But the devourers exact their own justice. They knew who was responsible for the destruction of the eggs. Malek's fate was sealed the moment he entered the chamber of Shah Nishen. <laughs> oh, yes. New Corsica, the jewel of the Brimstone Sands. Fine vintages and a great beauty await me there. Thank you, my friend. I shall raise a glass in your honor. Sweet. Interesting that Rima's here. Does she say anything? I can't believe it is done. But what an awful way to go. Especially in a place like this. Interesting. 
Yeah, but is he really dead though? Like, do people don't people don't die in Eternum? If you get eaten by a worm, do you really die then? Is it that serious? That's what's confusing in the lore is like Sometimes they're like, oh yeah, I died and then just came back like And then other times they're like, uh, that person died and now they're gone. Great Like won't he respawn just like everyone else? Oh. Oh, my frames. Yeah, you can get garlic, garlic here. But we got something else to hold on. We got tarragon from the herbs here. There, we got our third sportsman spoils bundle for today. Yeah, this is a great spot to harvest hyssop. Yeah, so we get garlic and tarragon in brimstone sands. Ilias, welcome. Uh, you just wrote good. I don't know. I don't know exactly what good you're referring to, but welcome. So we felt some rumbling and shaking here in the city. Tell me that wasn't you. Or better still, tell me that it was. What's the story? I still can't believe we had to turn on a client. When word of this gets out. Hang on. I didn't consider it that way. Come to think of it, that's pretty damn good. All right, then. I think we've done all that we can here. Time to wrap things up and move on. I'll be glad to get back to the camp. This has been quite the adventure, wouldn't you say? That's the plan. I sent Sandra up ahead with our things, but we should check in with Rima and make sure she's ready to go. Sandworm you egg. see if she needs anything? What? We get a sandworm egg? What? It's good to see you. I'm glad to find you well. He had an epiphany of sorts. I have a feeling that our adventure together made him yearn for a life he thought he had left behind. He seems like a new man. It's probably best if you speak to him about that. I should make my way to meet with Grace. I'm looking forward to seeing the camp. Cool. Yeah, I like this this city. It's really cool. Here you are, my friend. I had a feeling you might come looking for me once more. Thanks to you. And I've always been a fast healer. But mostly, I think a massive weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Huh. All thanks to you. I've avoided my role as speaker for the Devourer for so long. What happened here was something the blood of the sands sought to prevent. I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. To take up the mantle I was born to accept. Some part of it anyway. I'm still not sure I want to lead the blood of the sands. But I can carry out my duty to protect the eggs of Shah Neshen and fulfill the promises of my ancestors. And to you as well, my friend. I am certain our journeys will cross once again.
Interesting. So we just returned the eggs to them, but we get an egg for doing this quest. What? Well, did you find her? Is she ready to be going? That's what I wanted to hear. I know we did good work out here, but I've had my fill of the desert and its monsters. I'll be glad to get back to camp. Take your time, mate. I know you've always got your hands full with one thing or another. I'll let you know when the Silver Crows need you again. Until then, safe travels. We just gave the eggs to the dude, and we get an egg as a reward. That's pretty goofy. GG. Uh, yeah, complete the Blood of the Sand seasonal story. There you go. Boom. Um... Here, season two, claim all this, yeah. We got 69 days remaining on the battle pass. So yeah, these umbral shards don't weigh anything. So it's good to collect them, but these do weigh. It's 0.1. It doesn't matter, and we're going to use them anyway. Yeah, this we can lock. Interesting. I don't know what the upgrade is. It says upgrade 600. We must need 600 expertise or something. Yeah, we get us. <laughs> The quest is to return the eggs to him, and then we get a sandworm egg for completing the quest. It's a little goofy. It's like, well, didn't we just return the things to him? Where do we have our furniture? I think it's here. Yeah. We've got a lot of furnishing items. Need to put Arcana, Everfall, weapons in Brightwood. Nice. So now we're kind of like accumulating end game gear. Uh, I think everything under 500 gear score, we can just get rid of right this one i'll list on the market if it's bind on pickup yeah this is the warhammer we were using previously it look if it's below 500 gear score it's just gotta go like i'm just getting rid of it we can't get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah. If it's below 500 gear score, this is our fishing gear, so we don't accidentally. Yeah. The thing is, like, I'm just not going to use this stuff. 
strengthened battle uh i'll lock these because they're like named full sets of gear the the purified protective weird pants yeah these are like full gear sets that you get but as for everything else This we can put on the market. That's actually a good combo. Blight resist and ang angry earth ward. Focus strength. I'm about to start like indiscriminately salvaging stuff. Strength focus with javelin that gets salvaged. It's just like too much, you know? I'll hold on to this one, the named item. I'm just not going to use these. Like, I, I'm not going to use them. Oh, these are actually good. Yeah. These are actually decent PvP footwear. Yeah, the elemental version and then the P uh, resilient. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to look through gear anymore. I'm like getting... I'm just going to list them on the market. It'll take me like a minute. This thing is not good. It's got focus on it. Unfortunately, 
Yeah, it's just not. I'm just going to put these on the market, list them all for like a hundred. Maybe I'll list them for like 50 or 60. I'm just going to put these on the market for right now. I, I can't like, I don't want to sit here for 30 minutes just sifting through gear that I've picked up and saved. See, this, this is what I'm talking about. Right? Like, they're not actually rare. Don't list them for 55. 55. If we can get, like, a net of, like, 40... each that'll be worthwhile but the thing is like oh gold coin is so easy to come by in this game if you just play the game if you just play the game like you get coin for just basically anything you do I didn't mean to list that for 50 for five but it automatically chose the price for me so we have to wait then it loads then we list it for 55 there we go but things do sell like we haven't listed anything on the market in a while, but these will sell. Some of them will. Uh, this is bound to player, so... Yeah. And then I think, I think with this, I'm gonna call it. We, how long have we been going for? Almost three hours. I really want to start playing through Path of Exile. It's something I actually want to do. These are actually good. Like, the stat combos on them are actually really good. If all you wanted to do was, like, mess with the market and, like, buy things and relist them for hire, you totally could. Because, uh, a lot of stuff that's being listed on the market is much lower than it should be in my opinion like 
the amount of time it takes to find that gear is longer than it takes to get 55 coin. If you're just going... Based on... If you're just going based on the amount of time it takes to acquire the thing... This is a pretty good PV, PvE setup that we've got. I like how these... I like how these aren't limited by gear score. So, like, you can just kind of use them and get the gear score from them. Without having to grind all the way. Yeah. Should buy another bag. Let's check the bag market right now before I get off. Once I get a third bag uh, satchel. I think it's under here. So the way that we do this is we go by lowest price. Bags are expensive because the rune of holding itself is like, what, 1500 coin or something? And then we go by what we want, right? We want extra pockets. We want... What do we want? Luck? Yes, we absolutely want luck. Uh... What is it called? Luck. It's just luck, right? This is pretty good. Gear score is a little bit low. Like we're missing what? Like 20, 30 weight. But if you look at the way that the price ramps up, I mean... It's probably better to spend more and just buy a bag and bite, eat the cost. But the next best one I see is probably this one. And that's much more expensive. 2.6, 2.5... These all have... Yeah, 2.8 seems to be, like, the standard roll. This one's only 2.6. This one's only 
I know exactly what I'm looking for. I just can't find it. Yeah, it's going to be 4,500. Three fifty five. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, raw food doesn't matter. Or ingots is what matters the most. This is the one I'm looking at, the five ninety eight. Yeah, let's get the the five ninety eight. Because it has I don't know. I feel like Azoth isn't necessarily the worst thing to have on there. Like when Azoth attuned isn't necessarily the worst thing. What I'm mostly looking for are luck. And extra pockets. Can you even roll 600 gear score? I don't think you can. No, you can't. Yeah, so it goes up to 599. Yeah, I, I'm going with this one. It's a big purchase, but now I just don't need to ever worry about it again. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good. All right. Yeah, we have 15. We have over 1500 weight that we can carry, which. If we look at Windsward, which is our highest territory sanding area, we only have 1150 here. So we actually have more storage on our character than we do in our highest storage storage shed. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, I'm going to leave it here. Um, later today, I may very well stream some Path of Exile, or I may go back to do some Legion TD2, depending on how I feel. Um, we made a lot of progress this stream. And yeah, I'll be on in the future.